Okay, we're going to look at an application here with a, with a radio out of a Lincoln. And uh, this radio and audio system in this car is actually very common in most of the Ford premium systems. Let's say we didn't know much about it when we started and we simply grabbed the four head unit outputs that come out of this radio because they were easy to find and obvious front and rear speakers. We plug them into the front and rear inputs of our clean sweep DSP processor and we attempt a calibration. In this case, I'm not going to turn on the RTA right now, assuming we didn't have an RTA in the car at the moment. So let's try to calibrate this thing and see what happens. Remember that the clean sweep needs a full range input in order to calibrate. It needs to have the full band of frequencies from 20 hertz to 20 kilohertz uh, represented within a range of about plus or minus 15 dB in order to be able to do its job. If any frequency is higher or lower than that plus or minus 15 dB range, it will have a difficult time achieving a flat result. The clean sweep will tell you when it has a problem, and it uses a different series of flashing lights to indicate this problem. As you can see right here, this is exactly what an installer doesn't want to see when he uh, applies a clean sweep into a system. Usually this happens on a Saturday afternoon and you're trying to get out of there and, and you get the wrong color lights coming out of the thing and your first temptation is to grab the thing and throw it across the parking lot as far as you, as far as you can. But it just requires a, an extra step in order to achieve a good result. And uh, the clean sweep is actually telling you why it is having a problem. You'll notice that the front channel indicators are alternating between red and green. So how do you interpret that? Well, we were smart enough to put the codes right next to the lights, so don't ever call us and ask us what the lights mean. They're written right next to them. Um, here we have an alternating red and green. So here we see red, green, alternating, EQ active, partial correction. What that code means is that the clean sweep was not able to achieve a satisfactory flat response, but it tried its best. Okay? And on the other set of channels in the rears, we see just rapidly flashing red lights. And again, if we look at our codes here, it says calibration failed because the input signal is not full range. The clean sweep is telling you that the signal applied to it was not correctable for two different reasons in each of its channel banks. But let's turn the RTA on and see what happened here. Okay, we are looking at the output of the rear channels at the moment. Let's uh, turn up the sensitivity a little bit. This is the one that's telling you that the input signal was not full range. As you can see, there's some stuff missing down here at the bottom. And this is after Clean Sweep attempted to correct. It was not able to do a good job. Let's see what the Clean Sweep started with on this signal, what it had to work with. And you'll see why there was a problem. Oh my goodness. Okay, we have a very severe high pass filter applied at a fairly high frequency in this system. Um, right around 250 or 300 hertz or so. So all of the information below that frequency is missing from the signal. And the clean sweep needing a full range signal was not able to rescue a, correct, a corrected response from this input. Okay, once again, I'll show you what the clean sweep tried to do with it, but the result is not a satisfactory full range flat corrected response. Okay, now let's look at the front channels. In the front channels, we had a different code which told us that partial correction had been achieved. This is the signal we started with. It was still a high pass signal, meaning that there's a bunch of low frequency information missing and it has some EQ in it. Let's see what the clean sweep was able to rescue from that mess. See, as you can see, the clean sweep was able to get all the dots on the screen, but it is not a flat response correction. So that's exactly what the code means, that partial correction was achieved but it wasn't a completely successful calibration. Okay, so what do we do in this situation? Obviously, we have a problem with the signal that's feeding the clean sweep not being full range. There's something we haven't found in this system that is necessary in order to complete the full audio range. And what we haven't found is the fact that this head unit, as with many Ford premium systems, has a separate dedicated subwoofer output coming out of it. So by not grabbing that low frequency information that's on that subwoofer output and adding it to these front and rear signals, we're not able to achieve full range. So the next step we have to take is to apply a summing interface to do this.